assalamu alaikum everyone today i want to explain uh, parallel reactions or side reactions here i wrote uh, two subtopic number two because uh, this is the second type of simultaneous or complex reaction yesterday we talked about uh, uh, consecutive reactions uh, or series reactions and today we will talk about parallel reactions or side reactions so what are side reactions so side reactions are those reactions in which a single reactant is converted into several different products or byproducts simultaneously or those reaction in which reactant follow two or more paths to give two or more different products at the same time the reaction in which the maximum yield of the product is obtained is called the major or main reaction while the other reactions are known as side or parallel reactions this is a typical reaction in which reactant a uh, is converted into several different products such as in this case we have shown here uh, three products product b c and d so these products are formed through different at constant such as k1 k2 k3 uh, this is the graphical representation of parallel reactions so on x axis we have shown time in minutes and on y axis concentration so you can see that uh, at zero time uh, the reactant a has the highest concentration and with the passage of time the reactant a is converted into products and these are different products so the concentration of the these products is increasing with the passage of time such as product b product C and product D so from the rate constant we can uh, estimate that which one is our major product or major strip uh, for example if k1 is greater than k2 or k1 is greater than k3 then uh, A is going to product B and this B is the major uh, reaction product while others C and D they are minor products so there, now we have to actually give the differential rate expression for the disappearance of reactant A through different paths or to give different products. So now uh, this R1 represents the disappearance of reactant A into product B. So this is represented with uh, K1A. Similarly. Uh, the disappearance of reactant A into product C uh, this is represented with K2A and similarly the disappearance of reactant A into product D is represented with K3A where the negative sign in all these rate like expression represent the decrease in the concentration or disappearance of the reactant A the overall rate of disappearance of A is the sum of all these reactions so now if you want to calculate the overall rate so we have to add all these uh, rate for the formation of different products such as r1 plus r2 plus r3 just putting the value of uh, different uh, different rate such as k1a uh, this k1a for the formation of uh, product b uh, k2a plus K3A just taking K, uh, a, a common the concentration of reactant A common and summing all these uh, K1 plus K2 plus K3 where K1 plus K2 plus K3 can be represented by a general uh, rate constant K bar just putting the value of uh, K1 plus K2 plus K3 in equation 1 so we got equation 2 uh, and equation 2 is actually a first order uh, expression uh, uh, we can solve this is a differential equation and we can solve this equation by integrating this equation between limits t0 uh, the concentration of a will be a represented by a naught when we have t time is equal to t the concentration of a is represented with a just applying the limit and a uh, little uh, rearrangement uh, can give the equation just solving this applying the same uh, integration integral formula so log uh, a 
in applying this uh, integration limits is equal to k bar t initial limit final limit after solving and uh, just taking uh, exponential of both sides so we got the concentration of a is equal to n naught e raised minus k bar t this is equation 3 similarly for the uh, product b the rate of formation is given by because product b is formed uh, uh, through rate constant k1 so this is the positive sign because this positive sign show that uh, product b is formed or appeared uh, just putting the value of a in this expression so we got expression 4 after rearranging and integrating equation 4 between limits applying the limits uh, to db and just transferring this dt to another side uh, we just apply limit initial limit final limit and this is db only and this is constant we took out from int integration sign applying the limit uh, we can solve this term by using a common integral formula e raised kx dx so its solution is 1 over k e raised kx so just we applied after applying this we got minus 1 over k bar e raised minus kt uh, applying time initial final just after applying the integration limit so this is the final concentration of b minus initial concentration of b because we have we can solve this if we have uh, dx and uh, we are taking integration so this differential will be cancelled with integration so we are getting x so in the same way we got this b only and uh, this is final limit minus initial limit is equal to k1 a naught so this was constant and uh, this is but when we applied the time initial uh, final time minus initial so initial is zero so we are when we are taking uh, zero uh, power of exponential so we are getting actually one so we got this one and just multi multiplying with the negative sign and after rearranging uh, we got equation 5 so this is equation 5 in the same way uh, concentration of c and d can be obtained as we can see here uh, the concentration of c uh, here so this will be equal in the same way as we have b is equal to b naught so we just replace here uh, with c naught and only the rate constant because c is formed through rate constant k2 and other things are the same we got equation 6 similarly for the d concentration of d we replace here with d naught and this with k k3 because this is formed through k3 rate constant other things are so same we got equation 7 uh, now we are applying condition if no b c and d is present in the beginning that is b naught is equal to c naught is equal to b naught is equal to 0 uh, then the ratio of b and c from equation 5 and 6 this is equation 5 and 6 so if you are taking the ratio of uh, b over c so just the common term will cancel with each other a naught similarly this exponential factor will cancel each other we have only this uh, k1 over k2 will remain so we are getting this ratio similarly if you want to take the ratio of b over d so we got k1 over k3 so this is the rate constant in which uh, b is found and this is in which d is found so we are getting this ratio and from this uh, ratio we can calculate the individual rate constant for the reaction now we want to give an example of parallel reactions so the first example of parallel reaction is the reaction of ethyl bromide with koh so when ethyl bromide react with koh we are getting two products such as uh, ethene and ethyl alcohol the second example of uh, parallel reaction is dehydration of 2 methyl 2 butanol so this uh, hydroxyl group is attached at position 2 so we are getting uh, either uh, 2 butene or 1 butene so hydroxyl group will be eliminated but uh, the hydrogen 
either can be eliminated from position 1 or position number 2 so we are getting two product uh, similarly this uh, example is given in the book uh, toluene when toluene is treated with bromine in the presence of iron at 25 degrees celsius so we are getting two products one is para uh, para bromo toluene that is 65 percent and uh, a mixture uh, contain uh, 35 percent of artho bromo toluene so we are getting actually two product two different product with different percentage so this one is looking like major product although the percentage is quite higher other one also 